The day broke and things were already in motion. Taken to fake trials with fake witnesses, it could not change his devotion. From one beating to another, from one jeering to another, there was no rest for him and yet he stayed true to his mission. After finding no fault and finding no wrong, he willingly took up his cross, carrying it nearly 2,000 feet, knowing with every step he came closer to the forsaken and the finished. He took the steps in the dust that he had created, and every footprint it proved he was devoted to his father's good pleasure. He reached the top, the summit of his death, Still, he stayed on the course, laying his broken skin upon the splintery wooden beam, spreading wide his arms and hands, making it known that he was his own choosing. With a master artist's brushstroke, the messy, glorious painting taking place in front of the crowd's eyes that they could not understand was that through the messiness of the day, Glory was on display. The author was actively rewriting stories, renewing and replacing shame with grace, hate for love and mercy for judgment. This was the finished work he cried out loud. This was the messy work that he had done. So who is he? The one who spoke into existence, the one who said and it came into being, for our sake was hung on that Roman wooden tree, cried out in a loud voice, it is finished. You see, the completion of the work was only the beginning. The cross was not the end, it was only the start. No more void, no more separation, no more gap of the creator with his creation. In communion once again, the veil was torn, the curtain no more, the redemption of his bride, of all those who believe. My shame removed, guilt free, when my sin met my savior, the decision was made, the verdict was declared. It is finished, he proclaimed, my child, payment of your sin is paid and it's paid in full for on the third day. He rose again, his death did not keep a hold. So who is this man? Who is the willing partaker of such a messy day? He is, he is the savior of the world and his name is Jesus. <laughs>